Welcome back to another Kyokushin Society vlog where we discuss Kyokushin Karate and other martial arts related content. In this part 2 vlog of the anatomy of karate hands and feet, we will continue where we left off in part 1 and discuss the anatomy of the next 10 hand techniques, names in Japanese and the purpose of each. Make sure you study the anatomy of the karate hands techniques and practice them on your own to perfect each one of them. That way, when you get to the dojo, you will be a step ahead and able to perform the required kihon and training without having to think twice about how to use your hand when striking and defending correctly. And if you already have knowledge of the anatomy of the karate hands techniques, then even better, this is just a review for you. Last of the hand techniques discussed in part 1 was Toho. Hope you remember what hand technique that is. If not, please go and rewatch part 1 of this 3 part vlog. From here on, in this part 2, we will continue to discuss the anatomy of the next 10 hand techniques. At number 11 is the knife hand, Shuto, which is also called the karate chop. To do this hand technique, you use the rotation of the forearm and hips to generate power and speed. The targets of Shuto are the temple, carotid artery and the body. This technique is also effective as a block against thrusts, strikes and kicks. On number 12 comes another hand technique, Nukite. Nukite is also called the spear hand. In this technique, all the fingers are extended straight out with a thumb tucked in. Nukite is used in striking to the face and the abdominal area. To make sure you are able to strike effectively with this hand technique, you must make sure you train and harden the fingertips by doing exercises like finger push-ups and makiwara training. Next is another open hand technique called Iponukite or the forefinger spear. The forefinger is extended while the other fingers and thumb are tucked in. This hand technique is used in strikes to the eyes, nose, all parts of the face, the neck and also used in self-defense and close range. Nihon no Kite is also called the two finger spear. The forefinger and the middle finger in this hand technique are fully extended in a V position while the other fingers are tucked in. This technique is used to attack the eyes, face, neck and also used in self defense at close range. Next on the list is Haito or the inner knife hand. The hand fingers in these techniques are stretched out and the thumb is bent under the hand. Haito is used to strike to the temple, the ribs and also used in blocks. A number 16 is Shote, which is also known as the palm heel. This hand technique uses the point of the hand at the base of the thumb to strike with. The fingers are curved and the thumb is extended. You use this technique for strikes to the chin, face, abdominal regions and in blocks. For this next part, we are actually going to move from the hand techniques and talk about the anatomy of the forearms in karate. There are three parts of the forearm. The urakote, omotekote and hirakote. First, urakote. It is the underside of the forearm. The striking area is the underside of the lower section of the forearm. This is used for blocking and strikes to the chin. Omote koken is the inside part of the forearm. This hand technique striking part is the inside of the lower section of the forearm. The part of the forearm is used for blocking and strikes to the neck. Third, hirakote is the top of the forearm. The striking area of this hand technique 
is the lower section of the forearm. This part of the forearm is used in blocks against strikes to the ribs, face and strikes by the opponent's ankles. And we finally reached the last of the hand techniques of this part 2 video, which is the elbow and is called hiji. With the hiji, you can strike upwards, downwards or to the side. The power of this block is generated by utilizing the hip rotation, arm and shoulder twist and turning to the side to deflect the attack. This hand technique is used to strike to the face and to block a punch or kick to the midsection. These are the rest of the hand karate weapons in this part 2 of the anatomy of the karate hands and feet technique. Hope this helps and if you already have knowledge of the anatomy of the karate hands techniques, then even better, this is just a review for you. And if you are still here with me, make sure you check out the last part 3 of this video where we'll discuss the 7 of the karate anatomy of the feet techniques and the names in Japanese. Us. Hand Techniques Review Seiken Uraken Tetsui Koken Ryutoken Nihonken Nakayubi Ipon Ken Hitoashi Yubi Ipon Ken Keiko Toho Shuto Nukite Nippon nukite Nihon nukite Haito Shote Urakote Omote kote Hirakote Hiji Thank you for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys on the next video. Arigato!